Quick question, Chuck. My name is Sean. I'm from We Are Change, right? Yeah. Pleasure to meet you, first of all. You're a hero and a legend to a lot of people. Um, although there's a lot of rappers coming out questioning publicly the official story of 9-11. And we did hear you on the Bin Laden remix, Immortal Technique. There's a lot of rappers coming out. Karis one Tyler Quilly, Dead Prez. Um, you have a very powerful voice, and we've heard you use it before. I was just wondering your views on that day about a new investigation or what we can do to further the truth coming out about that day. Well, you know, I mean, it, it's, it's one of the things where conspiracy theories run high and the logic runs, runs very high as well as being something that makes so much sense that if it does come out, how do you handle people handling the news? So it's something, you know, I've known a lot of things, or at least I believe things for a long time. I kept in my hip pocket and you almost got to sprinkle the public with doses because Americanization, it, it means to get swamped, you know, with a broad stroke of, you know, dumbassification <laughs> or anti-lecturalism. So it's about, you know, being able to be aware of some of the facts and then using those facts to your advantage and knowing where to go as a collective. You know, sometimes, you, you, you know, when this, when this country tells a lie and you might see the obvious truth, it's like if nobody else around you sees the obvious truth, you got to figure out how the way to break it off in pieces and give it to them in doses. And so music and culture is a good way. Um, and then, you know, when you wake everybody up, once everybody's awake, what are you, you going to do with them? So, so it, it takes wisdom, knowledge, and understanding and, and, and a great sense of time and space. All right, man. Would you support a new investigation into 9-11? Of course, you always support the truth. Okay. And, uh, you know, I don't, I don't think there's a statute of limitations for the truth. All right. Thank you very much. Thank you much. give you this DVD. It's a great DVD of, of, you know, people questioning the official story, the family members and rescue workers demanding a new investigation. I mean, you know, all the way down to, I'm sorry, I'll be with you in one second. You know, all the way down to people being told, don't come in today. You know, it's like it, historically. I mean, I mean, you know how like in the zeitgeist and uh, you know historically, there's always been something that warned the people about some kind of inside disaster floating to the outside that was about to happen. But but you know, I mean, right now, if you got if you have people who automatically think, oh man, history don't mean nothing, how do you actually teach, protect, and and, and let them know the deal? Everybody with a scanner heard that. Okay, that's why there's the widespread disbelief because of what they actually heard and saw that day. One of the things that always stood out for me was was Building Seven because it never really got any intention, um, and it was really just like a question. Like I said in the song, it's like, yo, did they really pull it? Because you watch you watch like certain documentaries and you watch counter documentaries and you watch explanations and counter explanations and stuff like that. And it was just one of those outstanding things that always was like a you know, like an elephant in the room for me.